This is DNN, Donut News Network. I'm your host, Angry Cops, and today's top story is an 80-year-old veteran from California defends his liquor store with a shotgun against several young thugs trying to rob him at gunpoint. Our news correspondent on the scene, Angry Cops, are you there, AC? Yes, AC. 80-year-old Craig Cope defended his liquor store the other night from four assailants when one of them came into his store and pointed a rifle at him, demanding that he put his hands up in the air. What he didn't expect was to fill his pussy-ass arm all the way up with buckshot. Wow, that is some gangster shit. Hell yeah, he is, they see. <laughs> Send that pussy running outside of that liquor store screaming, he shot my arm off, like a BD version of a Christmas story. Amazing. <laughs> and has Killer Craig uh, divulged which branch he served under or whether or not he had been deployed? No, but an eyewitness states that a veteran was on scene and Craig has yet to answer any questions regarding his service. I bet he was an old school saw guy or a tunnel rat. Well, either way, we'll find out more about this amazing story after this commercial break. Hey, bud. Nope. Up here, <laughs> not God. I'm puberty, and I'm here to make your life a living hell. That's right, as much as you want to get that downstairs area touched, I'm going to make sure it's an inhabitable jungle down there. That is, unless you use the Manscaped Ultra Smooth Package. In that package comes the Crop Exfoliator, the Crop Gel, and Crop Shaver. Just jump into the shower with the Crop Exfoliator and apply this gentle liquid scrub to exfoliate the area and reduce ingrown hairs while shaving. The crop gel is fantastic for a prep and a close shave. And that crop shaver is perfectly engineered with three precision blades and extra wide lubricating strips to keep you getting the best shave at any angle. But make sure you get 20% off by going to manscaped.com slash angrycops or click the link below because you're going to need that 20% off, especially with the juggle you're going to be growing down there. <laughs> Good luck, scamp. And we're back with new developments from this fantastic story in California where an 80-year-old veteran defended his liquor store from armed robbers. AC, have we discovered uh, which branch, you know, tactical grandpa served with? And uh, my bet is that he was old school Green Beret. Not a Green Beret. A SEAL? Not even close. Oh my gosh, the Air Force? He's not a veteran. Well, then who was it? One of the dumbasses who unsuccessfully robbed kick-ass Craig here. I'm sure his friend who nearly got his arm shot off was elated that somebody in the car with him on his getaway ride was CLS qualified. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. 24-year-old Davon Broadus, if that's how you say his name, a army medic was the only veteran on scene that night, and he was not the good guy with the gun. An army medic involved in an armed robbery? A med that, that is something unexpected. I know! You could have mentioned any other MOS and I wouldn't have been surprised looking at you, Cab Scouts. But army medics, they're supposed to be smarter and far more responsible than the rest of us. I would love to take a tourniquet and just wrap it around where you're not supposed to on that guy. If you catch my drift, I hear you. Over a joint. A joint? No, no, around his neck. Why would I put it on a joint? Because it's not supposed to go over a joint. Wow. I am utterly speechless. How long has he served? Is, is he still in? I'm sure his chain of command would love to figure out this guy's extracurricular activities. Unknown AC. However, we did find his LinkedIn account and it says that he was an army medic from May of 2016 to March of 2017. That's only 10 months, so I would assume that, that might have been a deployment with the Army National Guard or reserves. Uh, not sure if he's still serving right now, but we really hope that he's out, because, wow. But more corroborating evidence has come in proving that this man is, in fact, a douchebag as he worked for GameStop and has his basic training photo as his LinkedIn profile picture. Wow. Really stunning the crowd with that one. <clears throat> Those bastards never gave me fair trading value. And also, what a 
boot move your basic training photo as your profile picture in any social media regardless of LinkedIn or other job opportunities. What a boot. Oh, I'm sorry, we have uh, we have somebody from the crowd that is speaking on behalf of uh, the, the veteran that was arrested, sir. Thank you, bro. As a representative of the Brovac community, we disavow any association with this vet. A vet, yes, but of Brovac, most certainly not, bro. Brovets are all about taking positivity, the things that we've learned in the military world, and bringing it over to the civilian sector so that we can prosper and grow together, bro. This guy was not bodacious. He was not totally sweet. And he was not assisting his fellow man after he got out of the military. So he is not a bro. And therefore, not a bro man. Absolutely, something I think we can all get behind. Back to you. Righteous. And on that note, I'll see you next time, weirdos. This is the uh, bonus one with Brovet. I'm oh fuck! It's facing this way. Oh, I hope that doesn't fuck it up too much. No integrity. No fucking scene integrity on this guy. Fucking turd. Look at this. I fucked it all up. <laughs>